This program is presented by University of California Television. Like what you learn? Visit our website or follow us on Facebook and Twitter to keep up with the latest UCTV programs. Dengue is a mosquito-borne viral illness, and it's a huge problem these days because it affects up to one half of the world's population. Of the 390 million people who are infected every year, about 100 million can go on to develop what's called breakbone fever because of the severe pain and muscle and uh, bone aches. Um, I've actually had it, so I survived. But the problem is that many, several hundred thousand of the hundred million cases will continue on to severe disease, which can then be fatal within 24 to 48 hours. When a mosquito infects a person with dengue virus, it enters the bloodstream and then infects white blood cells. This uh, then leads to production of more viruses, but only one viral protein is released from infected cells, and this is called NS1. What we have now found is that this NS1 protein by itself can cause vascular leak, which means fluids escaping from your bloodstream that leads to then shock and potentially death. The disease causes vascular leak. Thus, we think this is too much of a coincidence, and we feel that NS1 now should be considered as part of the causal factors in dengue severe disease. One is compatible with what we've always known about severe dengue disease, which is that it's a result of what we call a cytokine storm, an excessive release of inflammatory immune molecules. And we've now shown that NS1 can directly cause the release of these inflammatory immune molecules, leading thus to vascular leak. And the second aspect is that we found that NS1 can cause leakage directly on the endothelial cells in the lung, meaning the cells that line the blood vessels in the lung. So dengue is a very difficult disease and needs to be attacked on many different fronts. Um, some of our work, for instance, in Nicaragua is directly in communities uh, stopping mosquito transmission. However, our work here at Berkeley focuses on upstream targets, and we're really excited that this new discovery can lead to additional targets for drugs as well as uh, new vaccines that can stop dengue in the future. <laughs>